guys it's policies here welcome back to a brand new video so everybody saw the VP debate yesterday and it was pretty obvious that Tim Kaine literally wiped the floor with Mike Pence it was almost a joke now don't get me wrong Mike Pence did pretty well at the beginning painting Hillary Clinton as a person with bad judgment and a corrupt corrupt official but towards the second part and third part of the debate um, the, the, the last 30 minutes in the middle of 30 minutes uh, Tim Kaine started taking his gloves off and started beating Mike Pence and really called him out for his fraudulence and how dumb that guy is but something else that you guys should really know is that Mike Pence claims that condoms are too modern and too liberal so we all know that Donald Trump's running mate Mike Pence is a Christian extremist who really wants uh, the Bible taught in public schools at a really high level and believes that government should pay for gay conversation therapy so he thinks gays are pretty much crazy people and that they should have therapy paid for by the government to get them out of it and don't forget in in 2015 when mike pence was governor of indiana he allowed an hiv outbreak to spread across indiana choosing prayer over clean needle exchange that's the kind of guy and backwards conservative we're talking about but perhaps one of the most idiotic claims made by pence is that condoms are too modern and too liberal and he offers a poor defense against how to prevent STDs and diseases for young people who just like to bang. Pence is just really bizarre and he has a lot of unsubstantiated claims concerning condoms that go all the way back to 2002. In response to then Secretary of State Colin Powell saying in an MTV forum that sexually active young people should protect themselves with condoms. At the time Powell said, I think it's important for young people, especially to protect themselves from the possibility of acquiring any sexually transmitted disease, but especially to protect themselves from HIV AIDS, which is a plague that is upon the face of the earth. So in an interview with CNN, while advocating for abs pretty much abstinence uh, and abstinence during, sex, during uh, sex education, that's all he really wanted, Pence said Powell's call, uh, call for condom use would mislead millions of young people and put their lives at risk. So Mike Pence told Wolf Blitzer on CNN that uh, Powell was wrong and he said quote well Wolf I think it was given the enormous stature that Colin Powell rightly has not only in America but in the world community it was a sad day I don't think any administration has had a worse day since boxers and briefs on MTV and the truth is that Colin Powell had an opportunity here to reaffirm the president's commitment to abstinence as the best choice for young people and he chose not to do that in the first instance but and so I think it's very sad and the other part is that frankly condoms are very very poor protection against sexually transmitted diseases and in that sense Wolf this was the Secretary of State may be inadvertently misleading millions of young people and endangering lives Pence then went on to suggest that condoms are just too liberal and too modern for him he quote said the problem is it was too modern of an answer Wolf it was it truly was a modern liberal answer to a problem that parents like me are facing all over America and frankly all over the world. Of course Mike Pence is wrong as usual. His claim that condoms are a very poor protection against sexually transmitted diseases is easily debunked. A CDC report says when used consistently and correctly, condoms are highly effective in preventing the sexually transmission of HIV and they highly reduce the risk of other STDs and of course pregnancy. So. The bottom line is Mike Pence is ignorant and he's a dangerous religious bigot. He disseminates false and misleading information about condoms. Pence demonstrates that he is willing to endanger the life and welfare of young people to promote his Christian values. The guy's a moron, he's an idiot, and it was really great to see uh, Tim Kaine just beat the hell out of him at the debate.